This is my little Mitsubishi tractor, which all right, worked good and all for the most part. It was kind of uh, narrow and uh, a little unstable, I thought. But anyway, it worked great for what it was, but then, uh, I, you know, I say hard to steer because it didn't have power steering. That was my main, main gripe about it. And there was a uh, manual transmission, which I'm not opposed to that. I've driven cars all along with that. But um, finally, we kind of got to the idea that it might be a little safer if we uh, got something a little more, a little more stable and substantial. So after a little incident coming up here, why we talked about getting a different option on this thing. So we're here in just a minute, you'll see what we're talking about here. How you think it's all before, maybe? It's not what you're supposed to do with your tractor. Oh, it ain't good here. having it side like that. And it's not good to fall off of it either. You can get kind of a cut in the back sore. So now we got to figure out how to get this thing out of here. So we'll get back later on. Probably going to have to have the other chain. What? It's in, the, it's in the garage, I think. Oh, the red light? Yeah, I know. Oh, good. Good job. So after some thinking about the situation, because I'm getting older naturally anyway, and uh, I guess I break easier, we decide to uh, get a different tractor and something that's a little bit easier to handle and everything. Now this one's what they call a bad boy. I don't really say that. I don't like the name that much, but. It came with that bush hog. That's the only way I could get it. It's a very strong bush hog, which I've got for sale because I don't need it in the two little two lots. We got four lots, I guess we got. So anyway, uh, this one's got the power steering and the hydrostat and all that thing. So it'd be pretty handy in that respect. It's made in uh, Korea, naturally, and uh, but every piece of equipment they make, and I guess including the loader, is made down in Arkansas, down there, down in Bentonville, I believe it is. And so. Uh, I think it's going to be all right. Three cylinder, I don't know, 25 horse or something like that. My little one, I think it was, I don't know what the horsepower It wasn't a whole lot smaller. It was three cylinder, just like this, diesel and everything. But we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be all right. So, uh, um, anyway, I hope so. I hope maybe we'll turn it over. But it might be hard to pull back up when the other one was. Don't have a cab or anything. But we don't use it that much. I mean, I'm kind of wondering if we even use it enough to get it, but. Overall, it's just, I think, going to be safer. All right, y'all, y'all take care, and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye now. Okay, so.